www.sudo.de So guys, finally the Samsung XR, the Samsung Galaxy XR headset is here. It's leaked <laughs> shortly before the official announcement and we know everything now. So my name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DEVR and I will show you everything you need to know about this headset right now. So let's check out the leak. So there is somebody who tried that already and he is telling us what he experienced and all the technical specifications now. So yeah, we know the name finally. The name is really Samsung Galaxy XR and it's a competitor to the Apple Vision Pro. We already knew that, right? So he's talking a little bit about uh, what he experienced. So uh, yeah, the, the headset looks like this. I mean, we already know it. It has cameras here in front. It has this like a uh, facial interface with a light leakage, not uh, only on the on the nose, I think he said. And um, he also said that it's much lighter than the Apple Vision Pro. It's 544 grams or 19.2 ounces compared to the Apple Vision Pro's 26.4 ounce. This is really um, more uh, lighter, right? And I think it will also be more comfortable because the Apple Vision Pro was really not so comfortable. I can tell you because I have it at home. And uh, then he said, yeah, we have this wheel here at the back and it sits pretty comfortable on the back of your head and you can tighten it. And um, he says, as I said, a little bit of light leakage comes from the nose. That's the only thing he complained about. And then he talked about uh, how did he control all that things. And he said um, he could control it really good with the hands. So we have the same um, like finger movement, like with the Apple Vision Pro, like pinch something or drag something or point at something. And then you can... Um, yeah, activate something. So for example, the, the eye tracking is as the, the same as with the Apple Vision Pro. You check out like a uh, menu point and then you uh, pinch it. And also the headset has a lot of cameras. So the eye tracking is really um, correct. Everything is correct. But you will also be able to, to use these controllers. These are the official controllers. I'm not 100% sure right now if it comes with every order or if you have to buy it separately. Um, the thing is, please guys, this is a leak. I, I need to um, tell you that you have to check out the description and the first pin comment if there will be any additional news that are important for the galaxies are that are not right in this leak. So please definitely check the description and the first pin comment for additional info. So um, these are the controllers. They look like the Quest controllers, right? Really great. And he said the uh, Android XR experience is very, very close to the Vision OS experience of the Apple Vision Pro that I already showed you, right? So um, this is really um, similar. He, all, he only said that um, some like symbols are more the, uh, in the Android style and um, the uh, menu, you open the menu by a push of a button on the headset or if you move your palms up like this and then um, you see the, the menu and so on. Then you can also do like pinch movements and drag around all the windows like uh, um, Google um, Maps or Google Mail or all that stuff. You can uh, put all the windows wherever you like and the, the headset remembers that of course. And he also said that nearly all the Android apps can be used with the Galaxy XR. So like the Apple Vision Pro, you can use all the Vision OS apps and here you can use all the Android apps. That's really cool. I mean, these are 2D apps, of course, so there will be a floating big screen where you can use that. But the interesting thing in the future is how many Android XR really VR apps will be there. I know from some of the developers, there will be some. I'm not allowed to show it right now, but uh, later I will um, tell you. And um, But yeah, we need, of course, more apps. So Meta is a little bit <laughs> in front, of course, what the, what the game uh, or app store belongs. But I will do a separate video about this uh, in, in some days. Uh, so uh, you can compare Google and Meta a little bit better. And um, yeah, we have like... Um, he, he tried some Google Maps, 
So there was also a 3D model of New York in front of him that was really good. So the original Google apps, they are meant to do uh, in, in, to, to be in VR and mixed reality and so on. Um, he also checked out uh, Asteroid. This is uh, like a 3D trailer, a, a short film of astronauts. And he said it was really interesting. Um, then he talked about, that. that's very important now, the technical specifications. And finally, we have the confirmation. We have a micro OLED display with a resolution of 3,552 by 3,840 pixels. This is insane, guys. This is... Uh, 29 million pixels and the apple vision pro has only 23 million pixels so the display is even better than the apple vision pro that's absolutely brilliant it's crazy and the um, horizontal field of view will be 109 degree which is also uh, pretty good i mean the apple vision pro doesn't have a big field of view right but it's Definitely much better than, for example, the Megan X Superlight 8K. But I think uh, the Galaxy XR will have a bigger field of view then. That's uh, going to be very interesting, right? And then we have this um, um, this cameras here for the mixed reality. Of course, it's very important, the mixed reality feature. We have 6.5 megapixel stereo cameras for the mixed reality with 80 millimeters and f2.0 lenses. Um, stream and they are also surrounded by six additional outward facing cameras for hand tracking and and uh, I, I uh, not eye tracking but all the uh, tracking of, of the headset right so uh, this is gonna be really accurate I'm, I'm pretty sure also we have the confirmation now that we have the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 plus gen 2 processor so an upgraded version of the quest 3 processor it has 15 15% higher GPU rate and 20% higher CPU rate. And that's really interesting. We don't know the, the, the um, like benchmark of the new M5 of the new Apple Vision Pro. And uh, this one here, I don't, I don't know. We, will, we have to check it out in the, in the future. And um, we have the same battery uh, function like with the Apple Vision Pro. So we have a cable that goes to your pocket to an external battery and the battery life will be around 2 to 2.5 hours. That's not long, like the Apple Vision Pro, something like that. But don't expect that you have it like five hours or so. This will not happen. Yeah. And but it's lighter than the Apple Vision Pro's external battery, he said. And now, guys, finally, this is what we all waited for. Finally, we know the price. So we know the Apple Vision Pro is $3,500. And now the price of the Samsung Galaxy XR is $1,799. So this is a lot less than the Apple Vision Pro. It's crazy, right? So it will be a competitor to also Meta with the, with the um, Meta Quest Pro, right? I don't know if it's competitor to Apple. I, I, don't, I don't really know. Perhaps yes, but it's a totally different system. And uh, this is the price right now. And if you are an early adopter, you can even get, um, I think until the end of 2025, it will have a Google AI Pro, YouTube Premium, and also the Google Play Pass. That's really crazy, right? That's nice. So. The thing is, <laughs> where and when can we order it? So as it seems, it's the, the rumors were that it's only available in, uh, in Korea, but it will also be available in the US. So we can um, buy it on the website and you can also go in the Samsung stores. In, uh, there are four Samsung stores in the US here and there you can also buy it. Nice, right? So the only thing that I don't know right now from this leak is when it will be released and when it's shipped. I think it will be this year, but I have no idea if it is out now or not. So this is what you have to check out in the description, guys. As soon as I know it, I will put it in the description and in the first pinned comment. So make sure to check that out. Yeah, so all in all, very interesting. The price is okay. I think it's something that I expected, yeah, that it's $1,800. 
uh, okay they, they said it's not the it's the first uh, android xr right uh, and this is not for the mass consumer market we already knew that right it's a high-end product and later there will come um, more headsets that are cheaper of course this one is gonna be very interesting i try to get it somewhere i don't know how long it takes and if we, i will ever get it to germany or so i don't know um but yeah as soon as i get it i promise you that i will do a review so definitely make sure to subscribe so that i can do a, a very honest review about this headset and um very interesting very interesting so now we have meta we have Google and we have Apple and this is gonna be a nice race so guys I hope this was interesting for you finally we know most uh, things about this headset and uh, yeah it's gonna be really crazy so guys thank you for watching give me a thumbs up subscribe and see you next time in virtual reality see ya